in order that government procurement, as Congressman Tanyada said, and the intention of the bill says, no, it can be used as instrument for poverty reduction. Um, the other has to do with yung reducing red tape. I think that's uh, it's us. We are as concerned as you are in terms of reducing red tape. And I think we will work with you in all areas no, in order for us to reduce that. But having said that, parang I'd just like to uh, go quickly in my slides to the last part of my presentation, which has to do with, with respect to the possible action points with non -govern uh, non non national government agencies. Yeah. Uh, possi uh, the possible action points with national government agencies is uh, 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 in relation to the bill is with the, the way we view it is this way uh, having the bill uh, passed into law no, uh, will take some time but during the interim from now till the time the bill is passed we're wanting to engage the executive branch of government to do actions with us in order for us to actually pursue aspects in the bill that can be done and we use those as take-off point for developing an IRR that works. Because I think that's the problem with many laws, as you said. IRRs don't work. But here is an opportunity for us to actually work with you and try to develop best practices in different areas of working with social enterprises so that when IRR comes, the IRR contains the best practices in terms of these. No? So, um, the other thing is, I think government needs to invest strategically in working with social enterprises and the subsector, no? the subsector approach. Uh, my brother is the regional director of NEDA in Cagayan de Oro. Uh, uh, he's my older brother. No? Um, but let me just show you how I know. He actually decided, because he got so interested in the economic subsector, he decided he wanted to attend my course. I'm the younger sister, di ba? So I said, you want to attend my course in Ateneo? And he said, yes, I want to learn about what this economic subsector is all about. And mind you, after the course, he said, this is an economic subsector approach that, should, that NEDA, that NAPSI, that DAR, that DA, that everybody should be implementing. No, parang, ang feeling ko is that we, we want to work with you uh, we, our feeling is we want to work with you, but I think you need, uh, you, you need to give us a little leeway in terms of um, working on the basis not of your existing programs alone, but tweaking some of your existing programs so that they can accommodate the new strategies that we are trying to present. I, th I think that's our message to the national government. And to help that, uh, investing in strategic present research, I think, poverty reduction through social entrepreneurship research is, re is very important. One is the undertaking of a comprehensive study to define the most strategic economic subsectors to undertake present programs. And I think NAPSI actually is already interested in this. And we are wanting NEDA to get interested in this because you are the, develop the National Economic Development Authority. No? Uh, and then the second is the undertaking of a national profiling of the social enterprise sector to better ground government social enterprise convergence initiatives. Because we believe that it's only when we're able to map, diba? we agree with you that it's area-based in the final analysis. No? But the area-based approach has to be combined with the subsector approach so that we can talk about markets that are growing. Diba? Hindi po pwedeng area lang. So, um, undertaking a national profiling and the economic subsectors, I think this will do us, do both the social enterprise sector and the national government agencies good in terms of understanding how do we move forward in terms of a strategic path to the subsector approach and working with social enterprises distinct from business enterprises no? so that we can actually do a dent in relation to poverty reduction. The other thing that we're wanting to do is to explore the reconfiguration of existing resources or develop programs with ODA donors to undertake initiatives to address bottlenecks negatively affecting social enterprise growth and to evolve structures and systems that would inform the IRR that I've already mentioned. And these are some action points that we're wanting to propose. Um, 
Uh, well, these are the, the one is developing social enterprise governments conversion, uh, convergence initiatives. We're willing to work with you in the 609 areas, but we're wanting to tweak it a bit so that you recognize us as distinct players and not just as the same as other businesses. Um, uh, and then, as a key component of the priority industries for national convergence identified by DTI, there's room to work with you on that, but as I said, the industry approach deals with the big players mainly. For example, in the Coco Choir. No? Sa Coco Choir, ang pinag-uusap, uh, para bang big players tapos big export markets, ang DTI thrust is actually focused on, my that if, uh, I know this is the raw fiber export, di ba? Yeah, so raw fiber export na ang, even PCA, no? Na ang tingin namin, ang value-added na kailangan, uh, parang ang dapat gawin ay yung mga, yung work with social enterprises so that we can create value-added and market yung geotextile nets. And government itself could be a market. Yung ganun. Um, so, parang kailangan siguro mag-identify ng strategic economic subsectors that can actually be, that can actually grow and not just focus on industry and the big players. So, within industries, Ano ba yung pupwedeng economic subsectors na pwedeng tutukan? And I think one clear example that we wanted to look at is um, some of the subsectors where social enterprises are already key players. For example, Muscovado Sugar, key player yung alter trade. For example, in the Coco Choir subsector, not only Filipinas Ecofiber, but the whole FSSI intervention in the Coco Choir subsector is relevant. No? So parang we're wanting to work in the relation to PWDs, in relation to school chairs and educational toys, because they're strategic in providing employment to PWDs. No? So we're wanting to, sh to do that with you. Um, so doon sa coffee, for example, there's a new... There's a new strategy introduced by Bote Central, no? and we're wanting to support that. Um, the bamboo subsector is another area. No? So, parang gusto sana namin mag-work with you, but tweak your programs a bit so that they focus on economic subsectors where the poor are concentrated or could be major players. No? And then, other, th other uh, innovations that we're wanting to propose is, one, the establishment of a planning, monitoring, evaluation body and system to evolve effective, transparent, corruption-free public procurement schemes and mechanisms involving social enterprises. No? And right now, ito yung na-monitor namin na may mga public procurement schemes with government. Yung Coco Choir, organic fertilizer, community-based processing equipment for coffee, educational toys, and school chairs. And all of these organizations are actually, or all of these social enterprises are saying there are issues in the public procurement system. In cooperation with bank and non-bank financial institutions, we're wanting to propose the piloting of risk-based lending with a guarantee fund pool for social enterprises. Why are we so strong on this? In the DTI report that we've, uh, we've, 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 we've really reviewed and we've really taken to heart, DTI ag uh, admits no, that in the past 20 years, the program of the DTI to grow the small and medium sector has miserably failed. Sinasabi yun ng DTI sa kanyang mga reports. And the reason why is, for example, sa loans. When, they want, uh, when loans are provided or credit is available, but it's collateral based. So lahat ng mga small and medium enterprises ay hindi makahiram dahil wala nga silang assets kasi micro pa sila. Micro wanting to grow to small and medium. So ang proposal namin is risk-based lending backed up by a guarantee fund pool. Now, what we're trying to propose is cannot DTI with the funds that is unable to actually lend now because it's not moving, can it work with us and NAPSI, for example, to create this innovative uh, uh, risk-based lending scheme with a guarantee fund pool? We know that the central bank is already promoting risk-based lending among rural banks. So, hindi ito bago sa banking sector, yung risk-based lending. No? At yung guarantee fund pool, merong mga guarantee fund uh, existing already. We can actually pull them and see what happens if we use this to support social enterprises. In cooperation with... Um, ano, tapos, another thing is that because agriculture-based yung maraming social enterprises, risk is very important. But even in the non-agricultural sector, I remember that the persons with disability had to suffer ondoy, di ba? Na, na, ano na, na wipe out yung kanilang machinery because of ondoy. So parang... Uh, 
we need to develop and pilot insurance schemes to address the vulnerability of social enterprises and the poor to natural disasters and climate change. Other countries are doing so much more in this. We're not doing enough. No? Uh, dun sa ibang countries, meron silang protection not for just life, but livelihoods. No? They even insure cattle. Yung, yung livestock, yung mga ganyan. So, kailangan pag-aralan natin kung anong ginagawa sa ibang bansa. At baka kailangan natin gawin yan dito. Tapos, other, other proposals is to uh, set up a pilot social enterprise development fund to support capability building of social enterprises. Tingin ko, maraming karanasan ang social enterprises sa capability building not only of themselves, but of the poor. Kasi may resource institutions din naman ang social enterprise sector. And we're wanting to develop with you uh, a parang an effective capacity development program na pa, baka pwede, yung NAPSI can actually work with us to define a fund that social enterprises can use. No? And then, pilot social enterprise-based social protection schemes and an efficient, effective delivery of quality basic social services in preparation for a post-CCT scenario. Yung CCT is only going to last for five years, diba? Beyond that, we need to develop a mechanism that actually yung mga poor na nai-involve sa CCT magiging sustainable yung social protection nila in terms of education and health. And cooperatives have loads of experience to actually get them involved if only cooperatives are involved as social enterprises. No? And then, explore the appropriate tax incentives for SEPs. If government can actually give tax incentives to pioneering industries, why can't government give tax incentives to Social enterprises whose main reason for being is reduction of poverty. Diba? That, is, that is parang hindi yata, hindi yata commensurate dun sa pagda-doubt. Ah, parang doubting that pwede yan is I think something that we need to grapple with as an issue. But in principle, I think there has to be no quarrel that the reason why social enterprises can be given more incentives than the ordinary SME or micro and small and medium enterprises because our main reason for being is social. So, last, yan. Let me just say that um, yung, yung present coalition's aspiration is a strong, proactive, and innovative social enterprise sector with a significant citizen base with government playing a development role through successful convergence efforts and with relevant support from social investors we're wanting to actually see the day where social enterprises serving the poorest primary stakeholders are the majority of a vibrant SME sector in the country. With uh, the, you know, if we are able to successfully implement the intent of the bill, and then now we work together to actually uh, see where we can start developing the best practices that we can use to develop a workable IRR that would really uh, assist the support, uh, assist and support social enterprises. And maybe, just maybe, we can have substantive poverty reduction. So I think that's the end of my presentation. Uh, <laughs> I took more than 15 minutes, sorry. But uh, we're wanting to uh, express how pleased we are that government is here with us and is uh, in dialogue with us about this. We're excited about this because we think there are innovative ways of resolving poverty. And social enterprises need to come in to your radar yan, as major partners, not just clump together as businesses in your plans. No? Kasi in many of the plans we see in government, we are always seen as just a small segment yan, of the business sector. Yan. But we believe we should be a major partner in a poverty reduction strategy with government. Thank you very much.